Finn they tryna run up a chick. Finn that she go hard every time, I swear. Yo, 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 what's up, family, man? It's your boy Trader Barber here checking in. I just want to tell you guys, first and foremost, thank you for clicking on my channel, man. Hey, listen, man, today is a very special day. Your boy officially been in the barber game for three years today, man. Three years, let's go. Man, today, man, we're getting into this, this temp fade action, man. You know, spreading out these waves with the comb, making sure I got them things spread apart correctly. And then we're going in with my ball line. Using my Fade Masters by Anders, man. You know what I'm saying? That first ball line, I'm using the one through five method. Right now, we're at one, which is all the way closed. Now, I just closed down the lever, and we're going to three. And I'm just getting that little line that I put in right now with that one, and I'm getting it out, you know? Using a little flip, man, just getting that line on out. So I won't have any harsh lines in my Fade to kind of work with when we're finished. Actually into it right now with that one man. I'm coming their hair down to see to see the work that I've done. You know, I'm coming their hair down I'm using that the corner of my blade with that one. The higher I get, man, the corner of, I'm using that corner of my blade. And now you see me with the lever back open that one, man. I'm just doing like a lot of little cleanup work, man, before I move around the head, man. Just doing my thing. I forgot to tell you guys, man, like, subscribe, come into this channel, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend about a friend about a friend about this video so that you guys can get blessed with this content, man. I'm telling you, it's only going up. You see me right now, man. I'm like I said, I'm just using the corners, but I'm doing a lot of detail work. And so uh, I just turn around, man. I grab my Babe Bliss. Man, look, bro. I love Babe Bliss, dog. I love Babe Bliss. But yeah, so I'm, I grab my Babe Bliss, man. I'm coming down on the hair with the one guard so that fade can come out a lot cleaner man so i can take out all that extra bulk and i'm coming back and i'm fading that beard too with that one guard too just so i can get a perfect transition man so nothing is all out of whack now i'm also using the one three five fading method and right now i'm all the way open at five doing a lot of detail work with that with that one guard man and i just actually finished so now we're going to this back type of line man my client really likes a high back taper line, a high back taper overall. And so, man, you, you'll see me go pretty high. Now, all of my taper fades are not this high, but like I said, man, this client just really likes that high taper for some reason in the back. And so, hey, what the client wants, the client gets. So you'll see me right now dealing with uh, my bait bliss as well, that one guard. And I started off pretty high with it on purpose with that one guard just so that i wouldn't do too much with the waves that he has back there i don't want to detach them from his scalp you know i don't want to cut those brothers out but uh yeah you'll see me working them in right there man and i actually took off the blade and i actually set in a different ball line for it so i'm all the way at uh at one right now and i'm opening up to three and i'm just flicking at that line each time each time I'm just flicking at that line, man, really getting them in, getting them done, and making sure that everything is even and precise. Like I said, uh, when I was talking about the side taper, if you haven't already, like, subscribe to this video, comment, let me know what you're feeling, let me know how you're feeling, give me some motivation, I'm going to give you some motivation and we're working out this thing. Notice that I'm combing the hair down. And I'm making sure every time that the hair is even at all times because I do not, and I mean I do not want to create any type of indentions or holes or, or anything in that fade. Man, I want the thing to be crispy, clean, and cut all at once. Notice as I get higher, though, you guys, that I'm using the corner of my blade because I do not want to take the fade any higher at this point. I just want to take out the weight. So using the corner of your blade will be like, you know what I'm saying, you're shedding that weight, that dead weight that's on that, on that fade, man. Now as we over here on this side, I sped it up because hey, you guys saw it on the other side. I broke it down, now you're gonna see it in live action. And I can just kinda, you know, push everything else. So with that being said, you guys hear this beat right now. Y'all hear this beat, it's so smooth. Go, big shouts out to my dog, Finesse the producer. Finesse is cold blooded. His beats and all that stuff, the link to all his beats is in the, in the bio, the description. So make sure you go down there if you're an aspiring rapper. Hey, 
Get at my boy, he gonna get you right. He's a professional, baby. He's gonna get you right. He's self-made. But anyway, um, I'm fading my dog out, man. You see me working, I'm doing the same exact steps I did on the other side. It's just sped up, you know, everything is crucial, you know what I'm saying? We getting this thing done, yeah, right? Like I said, man, this is my third year in the barber game, man. I love it like crazy. Now you'll see me going around the edge up, man, the back edge up, as well as the front side of the edge up, with the one guard cutting down low enough to where when I put in this work, I don't have to worry about no extra overlay on the hair. And don't mind the fade right now, because we're going to go back and we're going to critique everything else yeah, with the hair cut. Shit. Now I'm using the 1.5 to cut my guy down, man. The one half, you feel me? We doing our work, man. We, you know, we, we, we chopping them on down. We getting this thing even, dog. We putting them waves on out so that he can flex with them, man, you know? Our man been putting in mad work. Still got a lot of ways to go. We've been, been putting in mad work on those waves, man. Got to get that right side laid a little bit, but hey, he's just not beginning. So yeah, man, we were chopping that on down. Getting it all even, man, to an even plan. Notice that as I cut the hair down, I'm going with the grain at all times. And I'm combing it to make sure that I don't gap him in any, any way possible, man, you know. And I'm chopping him with that 1.5, like I said. And that 1.5 is giving me the ability to create the, the connection between the actual fade and the hair. Now you see me, I grab my two guard, man. I'm cutting that crown. You have to cut that crown with the grain, man. You always want to cut it with the grain, most most importantly with the waver, man, because you do not want to create that hole in his head and make him mad, you know? So now I change back to my 1.5, and I'm actually debulking the rest of that fade to the point to where when I'm ready for that transition between the hair and that fade, man, it's seamless, man, I'm telling you. So I'm debulking the whole head, man, right there around the fade. And we getting this thing popping, man. We getting this thing popping. My man's looking back to life again. Now notice, man, I have my one guard on. I'm going down his edge. I really want that part to be low. And because he has no cow licks right there in the front, it's very easy for me to go ahead and get that thing low like I want to. And so I come back up with my pump it up spritz, man, just so I can hold the hair in place. And I, you know, just get that spritz sprayed on them, man. You know, make sure that you, you get them all good and even with the, with the spray, man. You don't want to go too overboard with it. And so now I'm spraying on the back line up, man. And we, we, we're getting all this stuff laid down. So when this clipper hit it, man, we, we can get that crispy, clean cut line like we need to, baby. About this head, man, it's just it's gonna be perfection once this clipper hit it, man. You see how I just tap and go right down that on that back edge up line, baby. The back line up. <laughs> yeah, man, it's really just a tap and go method, man. Use the corner blade to get over that ear. Be very cautious, man, because that is a tender spot on the head. You can and will draw blood if your blade is sharp enough. But I just hit the back line of that edge up too, man. You always want to kind of line that up with the back line. Like, it'll just go symmetrically, man. It's just a part of life, man. It's just the way of life. It's dope. It's pressure, I promise you. Notice how, man, I'm cleaning up right there up under that beard, man. I flip my blade, man, just making sure I got that crispy cut line, man. It has to be done perfectly, brother. It has to be done right. And now I'm right here getting over this ear, man. You know, I'm just hitting this back line, this back edge up. Got to make sure that we got this thing crispy, man. It's, it just has to be crispy. It's a part of life. It's really a part of life. Now I'm coming to this back beard line, man. I gotta make sure that this thing is crispy. Gotta make sure it's cut right to the point, man. It's gotta be done correctly, dog. I promise you. If it's not done correctly, then everything else that we did, all the hard work we put in beforehand is a waste, bro. It has to be crispy, dog. A, a great fade without a crispy lineup, man, is just trash. You can't even see your work.
now I'm prepping this edge up, man. Got to prepare this C cup right here. And you'll see how I'm coming. I'm using the corner of my blade to create that exaggeration that I need, man, from the top of the edge up down to my beard line. It's, it's just, hey, man, look, it has to be crisp, dog. I'm playing up the inside of that space, man. I'm really just hitting that box like I want it to be, man, at a very sharp point. I am adding an enhancements during this video, man. So this is what you do before you add your enhancements. So if your client is to wash the enhancement out, he will still have some sort of some form of an edge up when it is washed out. You always want to kind of set your canvas before you spray anything. See how it looks before you apply. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be a crispy cut line, man, even without the enhancement. But the enhancement is just gonna give you that extra life, man. It's gonna give you that extra pop. I promise you. And what you do to one side, you always do to the other, man. You always do to the other. Alright, man, you see, I'm coming right across that same line that I set in, man. Gotta make it even, gotta be just, you know what I'm saying, symmetrical, dog. And I sped this side up really much so, man, just so you guys could really, you know what I'm saying get to the point and see what i'm getting at man i promise you what i did on the other side i did on this side as well now coming in man i'm combing down that c cup and i'm making sure i get that c cup as even and symmetrical as i can to that beer line and as even as i can to the other tip of the c cup on the other side of the head in other words that curve right there you see how i'm working that curve man i gotta have the point of my blade to make that curve as sharp as i can man Gotta make it sharp, and that fade is popping, man. It's popping right there with the edge up. I'm just doing a little cleanup work, man, behind the beard and making sure that everything is even. And so, man, look, if you're not even as a barber, then you're not doing your job. <laughs> man, my client, man, didn't know that I was recording, but listen, man, this is that Smash the Legend Design and Shave Gel, man. I'm telling you, bro, it's perfect for that beard lining. You will see exactly how I apply it, man, and I use it, dog. And I, I guarantee you that line will come out so much sharper, man. Big shouts out to my guy Smash, man, one of my mentors, dog. Put it on top of that beard line, give it a moment to dry just a little. Calm it down, you know, try to calm into the beard, get it all relaxed in, man. And I guarantee, bro, when you put that beard line on with that razor, because I don't like putting them clippers on his face, man. I mean, around the mustache is cool, but on that bare face, I want to come in with a straight razor, man. A clean, new straight razor that gets that beard as sharp as I want it to be, as sharp as I can get it to be, man. I'm telling you, bro. Cause, listen, bro, the shave gel is fire. Smash, big shouts out, man. Now with this straight razor, man, it's all about technique, man. Notice how I'm pulling the skin tight with my left thumb, and I'm just barely grazing the skin, man, with my right hand and that straight razor, man, because I'm telling you, it would draw blood so, so quickly and so smoothly. Also, man, you will see how I barely tapped around that, that bump right there that he had on his face, man. You know, your client may have a few bumps here or there, man. You do not want to run that, that razor across it, man, because I'm telling you, you're gonna be deal, you're gonna deal with an issue that you don't even wanna have to deal with. Like you can you can avoid that that busting that bump, man. Cause you see how crispy that line came out of that beard, man. It's all about the shave gel. It's all about you, about your work ethic, man. Keep that thumb, man. Wherever that razor go, your thumb goes, man. Pull that skin tight. Make sure make sure that line is as sharp as you can get it, man. This is how you make sure that that client comes back to your chair. You got to put in that work. If you ain't putting in that work, then he can go find the same thing that you're doing at somebody else's shop. So what are you doing to make that client come back to your chair? Please tell me. i tell you what I'm doing. I'm making sure I'm getting all my points correctly and doing exactly what the client wants, man. 
Cause I guarantee by the end of this cut, he's a satisfied customer, baby. And he'll be back within the next week or two. Possibly a month, who all, who knows? When he needs another one, he'll be back. But I went back, man, I'm, I'm cleaning up that back line once more, man, because I really want this thing to be as crisp as possible. You don't have to go over it so many times, depending on the client. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't really scar up, or you know, he has tougher skin, so it, 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 it doesn't hurt him as bad. So this right here, man, we put in the work. We get we get up on this beard, man. We get his name really even, man. We going back and we cleaning up everything that we did not get on the last time frame. And I'm telling you, bro, we here, man. We solidified. We up under that beard. Yeah, <laughs> little peak. Yeah, you saw the peak. Anyway, man, we up under that beard, man. We working it. We grinding, we into motion, man. I'm combing down the mustache, get them right, man. Them waves are popping. Them waves are jumping, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That is what we work for. Let's go. Yeah, man, I just did a little cleanup work with that razor, man. Now I'm checking this edge up, man, trying to see what I what I want to do with it, bro. I'm telling you, man, but this client has to leave. Just excited, man. Shouts out to Barbology, man, and Baby Bliss, baby. Shouts out to him for the tape, man. It's, it's cold, blooded. Now this is what set aside good barbers from great barbers, baby. The ability to kill the wild hairs. You don't need a guard, man. Just take that off, man. Close the close level all the way, man. Go all the way to one. And there's just guide across those ways, man. Make sure you're taking your time. There's no rush. There's no rush at all. Take your time. You do not want to gamble, man. You do not want to gamble. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. There is no time limit on the haircut, baby. You know what I'm saying? Get not make your money. And now, what I'm doing here. Is I'm getting the hair wet, man. I just did everything I need to do. I'm going to apply as I am. Double buttercream. Listen, bro. If you want to be a waver, dump all the wave grease. That is what you need. You heard it here first from Trader Barber, man. That is what you apply. So as I lay this client's heads down, man, lay his waves down, we're doing everything we can, man, to make sure that he can leave out spinning. Leave out as happy and leave out just, you know what I'm saying? It's justified. Man, so it's it's justified. His waves are justified. You see them things laying down now? And then I would take my bow wow brush, as we call it. <laughs> After I get done laying that down, man, we take that, we call, we call it that bow wow brush. Something like a Toriano brush. And we take it and we just brush his hair, man. We just really give him a slight brush session. He's not getting that nowhere else. I know he's only getting that in my chair. A real yeah, so brush that's in my chair. chair. So as we lay him on down, this buttercream, man, and we brushing it on in with this product by As I Am, man. I'm gonna drop it in the description, and you can go to that website and order it yourself. You can see how it's really just picking down the ways, man. Just laying them down, just really laying them down. This man, it's just perfect. It's just perfection, man. He can't get this nowhere else. I spread it up, man, just because, like, listen. You guys get the gist of this brush session, baby. You guys to brush with his waves at all times. That's the only way you're gonna get your best result. You guys to go, you guys to follow the rules. The roadmap is right there in front of you, man. You just gotta follow it. Get into the enhancing portal, man. I took a, a, a nice little business card, a nice size business card, and I'm just applying the enhancement where it is needed first, man. He's very light around the edge of his edge up. And since he's very light, man, I, I don't have to do much, but I put enough to where it looks full and content and just everything is well put together. You see that crispy line before I even edge it up now? You can see a big difference right there. So I'm applying the, you know, the little fibers, natural hair fibers, man, to fit it in, to give them the sharp and best line possible. And I sprayed the gotta be glue, man, to hold their hair in like I needed to be held in. So now I'm back with my FX gold baby liners, whatever you want to call them, baby. Them jokers hit. 
And I'm hitting that edge up, man, even with that hands on, man, making that thing look as sharp as possible. And everything about those clippers, man, everything about this cut, man, I put my all into it. So with that being said, you see this work, baby. You see this work. You see how sharp it is. And I'm coming at them perfect. I got to get them at this perfect point, man. It has to come out perfect. It has to be done right. It has to be done correctly. I was always taught, man, you do it correctly the first time, you ain't got to go back and fix it. And it's sharp and to the point. And that's it, YouTube, man. I told you, brother. We came, man. Past this cut. We did exactly what we had to do, man. We came in and we put in work. We came, we sought, and we conquered, baby. We came and did everything we needed to do, man. We got the nice temp fade on We got everything we need, man. Hard edge up. Got the black ice fiber spray. My man is ready for the world now, dog. Hey, listen, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment to my channel, man. Let me know. Give me some feedback on this cut, dog. And if it helped you, just give me a 100-point symbol or give me a thumbs up, man. Thank y'all, man. See y'all in the next video.